Okay. Are you going to sit? I'm going to sit as close to the people recording as I can. This is cozy, though, but if I pass out. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. It's nice and dark. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, recording. Did you take mine off old? Um, uh, no, yeah, it's good. Yeah. Okay, recording. <laughs> Hey, you guys, it's Debbie. I'm here with Mark, and we have a bunch of friends with us, and these people are good people. You know, last time I was here with Jan and Peggy, you know, I said I was gonna try to make sure you guys were okay. Do you remember who we are? Girly, we are in Reno, Nevada. We're going to visit a couple locations involving the murder of Debbie Constantino. Uh, she was murdered on September 22nd, 2015 by her estranged husband, Mark Constantino. If you don't know who these people were, they were paranormal investigators. Um, they were on a couple of episodes of Ghost Adventures. I feel I don't have to explain to you guys what Ghost Adventures is. If you don't know what it is is basically this uh, television crew goes around to supposed haunted places and they claim they hear things and see things and whatever it's uh, made of television uh, whatever it is that you want to call it but uh, definitely not made up what happened to Debbie Constantino and her roommate slash boyfriend uh, James uh, he was murdered in that house uh, right across the street from me Debbie Constantino, 52, and Mark Constantino, 53, build themselves as ghost experts or EVP experts. Uh, they were on a few different episodes of Ghost Adventures between 2008 and 2011. Now, at the time of her murder, the couple had been going through divorce proceedings. Uh, it had been stated in court filings that uh, Mark had been abusive to Debbie and Mark had claimed that Debbie had been abusive to him and they had put out restraining orders on each other and uh, this was just a, a pretty uh, tumultuous marriage to say the least. Uh, people would be surprised to hear of what was going on behind the scenes of that television show. So in August, Mark had been arrested on charges of kidnapping domestic battery and strangulation now, his daughter was also arrested Raquel Constantino in that matter now as they were separated Debbie was staying at this house right here on Escalera Court and at the time she was staying with a man I'm not sure if he was a boyfriend or just a roommate his name was James Anderson now on September 22nd of 2015 one of the roommates comes home here and finds James shot to death and Debbie was missing so immediately the roommate called 911 and police started pinging Debbie's phone and they discovered that she was at a location uh, right next to Sparks High School uh, that is where their daughter Raquel Constantino lived so police get in their vehicles and uh, they head over to that apartment complex on 15th street and they're looking for debbie and mark constantino we're gonna head to that location right now this is the apartment complex where debbie's phone was pinging from and about seven hours later after the body of james anderson was found police officers made their way to this apartment complex and this is where raquel constantino used to live now, as police were approaching the door, they heard multiple gunshots and a male voice call out, quote, give me 15 minutes to gather my thoughts or I'll kill her, unquote. So immediately they call in for reinforcements and SWAT officers arrived. And for the next two hours, uh, there is a tense standoff between Sparks Police Department and Mark Constantino. So at around, 1 o'clock, 1.15 or so, they heard a gunshot. 
and they immediately went into the apartment and that's where they found both Debbie and Mark Constantino's bodies. Now, I wasn't able to find the exact apartment, but I'm showing a picture on the screen and I believe the picture that was taken from some uh, news reporter or what have you was taken right about here. So in the picture, you can see these stairs. In the picture, you can see this uh, fire extinguisher. Uh, the SWAT officers would be standing right about here. And in the background of that picture, you can see this same tree and same pole. And I've walked around here and I have not seen a similar tree that was in the picture. So you can kind of see how that tree makes a uh, Y shape right there. So they would have used probably a telephoto lens from where I started over there. So I'm guessing, because I know that they were on their first floor. So I'm guessing uh, this all happened right here. 